his mom had gave him that name, Pure Quality. And um, you know anything about Florida, man, and the Florida boys, man, how they used to move back in the days. Um, she said the reason she named him Pure Quality because back in the days, man, when them, um, when them square bricks used to come across that water, y'all, they had the PQ stamp on them, Pure Quality, y'all. So Ask me what I'm doing, just grinding. Hey, this one I ain't let them, ain't never mind them. Be more advanced, trying to reach your next plateau. And I can't stop till I achieve my goals. Keep a couple beads inside the photo. So official with the vibe, you can't fuck up my zone. Hold on for a minute, let me count mine. You know, hey, you know. What's going on, everybody, man? It's your folks, DJ. I want to welcome y'all back to Pure Quality K9. Out here in the backyard with the dog real quick, man. Just got through feeding them. But uh, today, if y'all don't know, man, if your first time coming along, y'all, today's Tuesday, man. Y'all know every Tuesday, Talk Your Shit Tuesday. But well, I'm going to give y'all a little something that's going on with the yard, something that's on my mind. I'll give y'all a sneak peek, of a little more information on one of the dogs, y'all. Well, today, man, is going to be something on my mind, y'all, something I've been kind of thinking about that I want to share with y'all and kind of get y'all opinion on. And uh, that is how important is the name of your program? How important is the name of your kennel, y'all? Um, does it got any um, bearing on how far you will go? Um, do y'all take any stock in it? Um, how did you come up with your name? I'm gonna pretty much break down the reason I call my kennel, my dogs, Pure Quality Canine. I'll let y'all know how I came up with that name. And uh, like I said, get y'all take on that whole matter, y'all. But before we do, uh, quick little updates, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with um, Molly, y'all. Y'all know Molly's supposed to be pregnant. As far as my count, man, she should be 58 days right now. She ain't looking like she should be, y'all. She should be more swollen than that. Um, I've kind of been letting Mother Nature take her course. I was last week going to take her to the uh, vet and get a, um, not an ultrasound, but an x-ray, y'all. But at the end of the day, I kept thinking about that. You know, I'm not, this breeding right here is not, you know, it's not dead set that I gotta have these puppies. Um, it's not gonna make or break me. I ain't already counted them or nothing like that, y'all. So pretty much, like I say, I'll just let Mother Nature take take her course, y'all. But uh, she kinda um, almost start the other night that she was about to go in the heat, y'all. Like I say, that whole day, man, she had been digging up holes, um, acting like she was um, kind of nesting. Um, her, her breathing had kind of changed up a little bit, y'all. So um, we had actually brought her in the house that night and um, set up her little um, box where she gonna have her welcome box, y'all. Pretty much let her stay in there all night, y'all. She didn't do nothing. Um, y'all see her out here right now. I don't know, man. Her titties hanging. I just squeezed them a second ago. I got a little liquid out of there, but it wasn't like it was full of milk or nothing like that, y'all. So like I say, man, today is pretty much day 58. So uh, like I say, man, we're gonna let Mother Nature take her course, um, give her a couple more days. Like I say, by 63, she should dang sure be dropping them, y'all. Um, she's still kind of acting a little strange, like she might be, y'all. But um, like I say, I don't know for sure, man. We're gonna go ahead and let it play itself out. Um, what else is going on? Well, I got one more thing I want to show, tell y'all about. Um, this is going to be very important, man, especially if you do a lot of traveling. Um, if maybe you in Texas, y'all, got something going on, but y'all going to have to wait to the end, end of this video, man. I'll break all that down to y'all. But um, like I said, man, we're going to go over a name, y'all, um, Pure Quality Canine, why I came up with that name. Um, first off, Pure quality, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. That name was kind of stolen, man. I stole that name from a friend of mine. Um, or I'll say a buddy or associate, but um, years ago, pretty much when I moved down to South Carolina, um, hanging with this dude, pretty tough, man, but he was actually out of uh, Miami, Florida, y'all. First dude I ever seen with all 32 goals, man. He was definitely a real uh, Miami, Florida boy, y'all. But um, the whole time I hung with him, his name was PQ. And I never knew where he got that name from. So uh, we was hanging together almost two years, y'all, before one day I heard his name, his government called out. And uh, scratching my head, I had to ask him, like, dude, where you get the name PQ from? Because his government wasn't no P or no Q, right? So uh, he pretty much broke down the story. Um, his mom had gave him that name, Pure Quality. And um, you know anything about Florida, man, and the Florida boys, man, how they used to move back in the days. Um, 
he said the reason she named him Pure Quality because back in the days, man, when them um when them square bricks used to come across that water, y'all, they had the PQ stamp on them, Pure Quality, y'all. So uh, that was always his name, y'all. So that kind of fascinated me, man. One, just like I say, um. Uh, I know a lot of people, man, like myself, that grew up with nicknames. Um, a lot of us get them for different reasons, y'all. So, uh, like I said, that name was just uh, real peculiar, man, real cool to me, right? So, fast forward almost 25 years, y'all. I get Scoop. And, um, like I say, when I first got Scoop, man, my plan wasn't really to do no breeding, man. I got him pretty much as a home protection dog, another dog to have around the house, man. Uh, for my first line of defense. And at the same time, too, I just love Scoop, y'all. So um, as time went on, um, and I'll tell you my eventually, another video, man, my reasons for wanting to start breeding. Um, like I say, I eventually got my girls, y'all, and I still didn't have a name for my kennel. So um, like I said, I was going over names, going over names, and then it hit me, y'all. PQ, you know what I mean? Pure quality kennels, y'all. So uh, pretty much, y'all, I've been rolling with that name uh, since then. Cause I ain't wanted to really come up with good names. Like I say, man, it just, that came to me, y'all. It was, it, it was happenstance that I happened to meet him when I first moved down here to South Carolina. So like I say, man, I ain't seen him for years, y'all. So I definitely wanted to use that name, y'all. So that's pretty much how I got the name Pure Quality Canines. Um, at the same time too, a reason for using that name, y'all, I just knew it was a good name. And then at the same time, too, it had a lot of different meanings, y'all. Um, like I say, when I say pure quality canines, I'm speaking on my dog, but at the same time, too, I looked into the future, y'all, where pure quality could almost go for any dogs. You know what I mean? If you got rock rollers, if you got, um, oh, my, my daughter, she took the uh, Maltese in the house. If you got Maltese, if you got um, Doberman Pinchers, y'all, any type of dog can be a pure quality dog, y'all. And when I say pure quality, I'm not saying in the sense, y'all, of when I think of pure, I think of, um, when I like to use the word pure, I like to think of how God originally made something, y'all, pure. And um, as y'all know, pretty much ain't nothing in this world pure no more. Not you, not me, not the water we drink, not the air we breathe. Um, this house, you know what I mean? It's not pure, y'all. It's not how naturally God intended it, you know what I mean, being a tree, y'all. But at the same time, too, pure quality y'all um if you take it as how i use it is pure quality is anything that um you devote yourself to that you put time into um that you dedicate it that you use your own hands to work and make and um like i say man you got a lot of love for whatever that is man it could be pure quality just when i came up with that name i thought about that y'all because um uh, like i say just with um merchandising y'all i eventually want to start making merch uh, PQK, I mean PQ, um, PQC, man, it goes good together on the shirt. And then at the same time, too, Pure Quality Canines, it sounds good and looks good spelled out. And then at the same time, too, it's one of the names where, like I say, it ain't necessarily got to be my dog. Um, I can have a poodle on the shirt and name it Pure Quality Canines, y'all, and still put it out there for the general public, y'all. So. That's what I mean a lot of times, or why I say, um, or ask, what does it mean when you use a name and come up with a name, and how important is it? Um, like, you might, this ain't a name I done seen, but uh, yesterday I would have had um, DBK, y'all, Dope Boy Kennels. Um, I'm pretty sure there's probably a name, something out there like that, y'all. But at the end of the day, um, how far can I go with that name? Um, what type of people are gonna really want to deal with me with a name like that? And at the same time, too, who am I gonna um who what type of people am I gonna attract? And at the same time, what type of people that um I'm gonna push away by using a name like that. So uh, a lot of times that's why I say, man, when you come up with a name, how important is it, y'all? Y'all think a name can make or break um uh, what you're trying to do? What's your thoughts on that?
lay down. And what's your real thoughts on the name, y'all? How did you come up with your name? Um, at the same time, too, man, have you thought about that in the future? You know, how far can you go with your name? You know, is this something that you can uh, merchandise? At the same time, too, have you checked, man, is your name already being used out there? You know what I mean? Because, um, like I say, I had a, a buddy of mine. Um, uh, it wasn't the name of his kennels, man, but um, one of his dogs was named Gucci, man. And um, he was going to start making shirts, man. Um, Gucci line kennels, you know what I mean? But at the same time, too, he was going to kind of use um, an offshoot of the clothing brand Gucci, you know what I mean? And um, I remember somebody had posted and said something about it, like, you know, be careful, you know, your name don't get copyrighted or, you know, Gucci don't come after, you know, in the future, y'all. So um, that's just what I want to say, you know what I mean? Um, what y'all really think about that, you know what I mean? Uh, again, you know, how important is the name? Uh, have you thought your name through, you know what I mean? Just future-wise, you know, how far can you go with it? Can you merchandise it? You know what I mean? At the same time, too, then make sure it ain't copyrighted or somebody ain't already using it, you know? Uh, them are all important things, man. Like I say, especially if you're trying to start a kennel, man. Um, you really want to think about that early on. You don't want to get too far into your program and then uh, see that you got to change names or go in a different direction, you know, because you ain't really start your, th your program or just even something as simple as a name all the way through. You know, I know there's some people that might use their family name, uh, all kind of different reasons, y'all. Uh, it's something to really think about, y'all. But, uh, like I said, that was just something on my mind because um, I had actually had made a post the other day on Facebook and someone had said something about that, you know, how can your dogs, how can you use the name pure quality, you know what I'm saying? When I use that word pure quality, I ain't using it in the sense of pure as in how God originally intended something to be, y'all. Pure quality as in, you know what I mean? I done took my time, um, love, dedication, and uh, like I say, I really care about something I do, you know what I mean? And like I say, that can be a quality, pure product. Like I say, it's coming from me. Y'all know I be getting off work late, man, so when I come home, they already been running around all day. They tired they self off, y'all, so, so once I feed them, man, if I don't pull that camera out quick enough, man, they pretty much chill out. Uh, before I let y'all go, man, cause like I said, I got one more um, thing I want to speak to y'all about. Man, when I woke up this morning, right, um, all the dogs were out the cages. I still got to figure out how Molly and um, the puppies done escape. But um, Lucky was out of his cage, y'all, and his bricks were still here. He done mess around, ate through the bottom of here, y'all, and this pretty much right here was pretty much folded in. Y'all see I done went back and and tied it up, man. Just show y'all something real quick, man. If you got these cheap kennels right here, like I say, they work. But uh, for these big dogs right here, really destructive, they will eat through something, y'all. So, um, like I say, if you got a cage like that, just a little tip, y'all. Home Depot Lowe's, you can find this little wiring right here, y'all. Um, it's pretty much bendable. You can use some wire strips, man. That's pretty much what I use to um, go ahead and close that up. But, um, like I say, that's something to think about, man. If you got these wire cages, y'all, and you got these big dogs, man, um, go ahead and invest in you a roll of that real quick like, because I promise it will come in handy, man. These dogs will tear something up. Ain't that right, y'all? Before I go, y'all, um, one quick thing I want to tell y'all about. Uh, first, man, make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe button. Uh, follow along. Hit that notification bell, man. Like I said, if this is your first time coming through, uh, we got a lot going on. And then at the same time, too, like how I say with that name, Pure Quality Canine, y'all, um, I'm the type of person that love all breed of dogs, man. I'm not stuck on one type of dog. And I want to say that because um, if you look at my shorts or you see some of my old videos, um, sometimes I showcase um, bullies. Sometimes I might showcase um, or go to somebody's yard, um, show they French bulldogs. Um, a lot of people I know own them two type of dogs, y'all. So um, you will see them on time to time on my page. Um, some people got the misconception that I own uh, one of them breed of dogs. I don't, y'all. Like I say, I like them dogs. I'm fascinated by them but I do not own a bully or a French, y'all. Um, can't necessarily say that I ever will. Like I say, I like these bigger type dogs, working type dogs, y'all. Um, 
And at the same time, too, as far as a small dog, we got our Maltese. So they pretty much take care of that. Um, with that being said, y'all, um, this weekend, if you don't know, I want to say this Saturday, the 23rd or the 24th, y'all, up in Texas, man, will be uh, Rumble in the Jungle, y'all. Uh, me, three other guys, y'all, we will be uh, riding out there, y'all, to Rumble in the Jungle. Uh, two of the guys will be bringing some of their dogs to put into the show. Uh, one's a bully breeder. Um, the other one is a Frenchie breeder, y'all. So um, I don't want to give you their names right now, man. I want y'all to make sure y'all come back next week. Check that video out, y'all. But um, like I say, man, if you've seen before, uh, I do go to these shows, y'all, and kind of document and record and um, make some videos, y'all, to put on the Internet and show and um, showcase on my page, y'all. So um, I will be out there for Rumble in the Jungle. This is actually Rumble in the Jungle 5, y'all. As far as I've seen, as far as watching old videos on the internet and um, people talk about Rumble in the Jungle, um, I might be out of line, but I want to say Rumble in the Jungle is almost like the um, the Super Bowl, you know what I mean, of dog shows, you know what I mean? It's that show where pretty much everybody goes to. It's that show that um, everybody definitely want to um, have under their belt that's going there, um, taking a trophy home, y'all. So um, from what I've seen, man, this pretty much going to be people from all over the world, definitely all over the United States, man. So I will be in the house, y'all, for Rumble in the Jungle. I will have my camera. Um, like I say, man, if if Frenchies, if um, French Bulldogs, if um, Bullies, and I'm talking about when I say Bullies, I mean XLs, um, Standards, um, Nanos, Micros, if any of them are y'all type of dog, man, make sure y'all come back, y'all. Um, if you ever watch how... Pretty much, I do my um, dog videos, man. I do a little bit different, man. Not like the average person, man. Um, I try to give a little bit of everybody some play and show y'all a dog that you might not normally see um, on some people's videos, y'all. Like I say, one thing about me, I don't discriminate, man. Um, I show everybody love. So like I say, man, I'm going to try to dang sure. I already heard that pretty much um, every booth there is already sold out. So best believe I'm pretty much going to be trying to hit every single booth up, man. Um, get a little word from everybody. I'm um, at the same time, too, going to be some major players in the dog game, y'all. So if I can um, get a little one-on-one -on -one with them, um, I will be doing that, too. Because uh, one thing about this, y'all, um, I'm going to try to do a little bit differently, y'all. Not so much a video, y'all. Um, I hate to put it out there for someone to steal my ID, but I'm going to kind of do almost like a documentary, y'all. Um, Pretty much the ride there, um, everything them guys are going through, getting ready, preparing for the show, and then, like I say, the day of the show. So, um, like I say, I'm going to pretty much record everybody, but it will be kind of centered around um, the two breeders I'm riding out there with, y'all. So, um, like I say, man, um, the video I'm trying to put together, man, is going to be like nothing i ever seen, nothing i ever done personally. Um, it's going to take a lot of work, y'all. Um, a lot of editing on my part, man. I'm going to see how good I don't really got um, with this camera and my editing skills, y'all. But uh, like I say, man, y'all wish me luck. And then make sure, like I say, if you come back. And then at the same time, too, y'all, if y'all happen to be at that show, um, holler at me, man. Talk to me. I talk back, y'all. Don't be afraid to um, say what's up, man. Don't be afraid to um, put your dog, especially if you want your dog on that camera, man. If you want to put your dog out there for the world to see as many people like i said there's gonna be a lot of cameras there man but like i say i'm definitely trying to give everybody some love man so um don't be afraid to say what's up y'all but with that being said y'all y'all know i don't start with it but i'm always gonna finish with it man make sure y'all hitting that like subscribe button man hitting that notification bell come back and check us out man like i say man we always got something going on over here man i ain't gonna hide nothing to y'all man i'm gonna give y'all what it is and what's up, man, every single time. That being said, y'all, we out.